In this video, I'm going to show you how to sync your Ledger accounts from your Ledger Life app on your desktop or your laptop to your Ledger Life app on your smartphone. Once you have synced your Ledger mobile app with your desktop, then you can buy or sell your cryptos. You can even swap your cryptos and also you can stake your cryptos on Ledger Life app on the go. That's a huge convenience. If you're interested in learning more about how to sync your Ledger Life app from your computer to the Ledger Life app on your smartphone, then I would recommend you to watch this video. And now let's get started. Since you are watching this video, I'm going to assume that you have already set up your Ledger device with the Ledger Life app on your computer. But if you haven't done that step yet, don't worry about it, I've got you covered. I have made a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up Ledger Nano X with Ledger Live app on your computer. And I'll put the video link in the description as well. Even if you're using other Ledger devices such as Ledger S or Ledger S Plus, the setup process should be the same. After you have set up your Ledger device on your computer, then you can sync Ledger accounts to your smartphone using Ledger Live app. And here's how you do it. Now I'm going to sync my Ledger accounts from my desktop on Ledger Life app to the Ledger Life app on my smartphone. But I'll be using iPhone to do this tutorial. If you use an Android phone, then you can download the Android version of Ledger Life app on ledger.com. So this is the Ledger Life app and you can download it from ledger.com. Right here, I'm going to click get started and it says, do you own a ledger? Yes, I do. And right here, instead of clicking set up my ledger, I'm going to click sync with desktop. To sync your crypto from desktop, it says if you already have your crypto set up in the ledger desktop app, you can sync them to manage them from your phone. So the setup process is very simple and it's go to settings on the ledger live app on your desktop and then go to accounts and click account export. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. This is the dashboard of Ledger Live app on your computer and you will go to settings and once you're in the settings, go to accounts tab. And the first thing that you will see is the export accounts. So I'm going to click export and this is the QR code that you need to scan to sync your Ledger accounts on your smartphone. So on my phone, I'm going to click I'm ready to scan. It says your desktop and mobile apps must be synced manually. So that means whenever you make changes on your Ledger accounts on your desktop, you will have to update manually on your Ledger Live app on your mobile phone. So I'm going to click got it. And now I'm going to start scanning the QR code on the desktop app of Ledger Life. So here is this QR code and it's loading right now. It shows that I have set up two new accounts on Ledger Life app on my computer. So I'm going to sync both of the accounts and one is the account for Bitcoin and another account for Ethereum. So both accounts are checked so I'm going to click import. So it's loading right now. So now you will see the dashboard of Ledger Live app on your mobile. And you see that I have set up both Bitcoin and Ethereum accounts on here. And now I'm going to connect my Ledger Nano X with this mobile app. Once you open the Ledger Live app after the sync process from your computer with the QR code, you will see this dashboard. And then I'm going to click my Ledger at the very bottom right corner. So here, it says connect via Bluetooth. And the best thing about having Ledger Nano X is that it has the Bluetooth functionality and like two other Ledger devices. So you can manage your cryptos on the go while connecting your Ledger device with the smartphone. So I'm going to click pair with Bluetooth and it says looking for device. So I'm going to connect this Nano X, which is right next to me. And so it says Bluetooth pairing request. So I'm going to click pair 
and then on my ledger device it says confirm pairing and I'm going to click both button so now I have confirmed the connection and it says device authentication check and it says please don't turn off your ledger nano x make sure you allow ledger manager so on my device it shows allow ledger manager so I'm going to press both buttons to confirm and once you click allowed it should be done it says pairing successful and your ledger nano x is ready to be used with ledger life congratulations if you follow through this step so far I'm going to click continue and it's loading currently on my ledger I have installed both Bitcoin app and Ethereum app and let's say I want to install more crypto apps like Solana or Dogecoin then if I install those apps on my desktop version of Ledger Life then I will have to update manually on the mobile version of Ledger Life app and now I'm going to show you how to add additional crypto apps on Ledger Life app on the computer and also syncing them to the smartphone so first thing first I'm going to use Ledger app on the desktop version and to do that I'm going to go to my Ledger tab and it says connect and unlock your device so I'm going to connect my Ledger Nano X with the cable that is provided in the box so I'm going to connect once it's connected I will type in my pin alright so I have put in my pin code and I'm going to go to the desktop app and click continue and now it's pairing the device so please wait for the update to finish so after the update now my ledger shows up right now I can see my ledger and it shows that I have two apps installed BTC and EDH and now I'm going to install let's say Dogecoin so I'm going to click install right here and the installation process is very simple and it's very fast and now it's already installed actually so I'm going to click add account to add an account I need to open the Dogecoin app on my device which is Ledger Nano X and I'm going to click both button to confirm so open and now it's loading so for the account name you can name as any name as you want so I'll just leave it as Dogecoin I will say DC how about that and so I'm going to type in DC sorry DC in short just to be aware that I have created this account and I'm going to click add account and alright so account added successfully and I'm going to click done so on my accounts tab I can see that there are three crypto apps which are Bitcoin Ethereum and now Dogecoin is added now I'm going to add Dogecoin account on my phone using Ledger Live app but I will need to pair Ledger Nano X with Bluetooth connection with my phone now I'm on Ledger Live app and I'm going to scroll down to update my accounts but as you know Dogecoin app has not been updated because I have to add manually on my phone as well so mobile version of Ledger Live app and the desktop version of Ledger Live app they are not synced together like Dropbox app now I'm going to pair my Ledger Nano X with my phone on Ledger Live app and I'm going to click my Ledger at the bottom right corner and I will see that Ledger Nano X right here so I'm going to pair but first I will need to put in my pin on my ledger device so I'll quickly put that in right now so I have added my pin and I'm going to click retry so to add dogecoin account on my phone I'm going to click add account and there are two options I can either import from desktop app by scanning the um, QR code again or I can use my ledger nano x and sync together so I'm going to click with your ledger so I'm going to choose dogecoin or I can search here 
Dogecoin. So, so it's been synced and I can add Dogecoin on the mobile app as well. So click continue and I'll click see your asset. Dogecoin account has been added on my mobile version of Ledger Life app. So now I'm back to wallet page and I can see that the Dogecoin account has been updated on this mobile app as well. All right, that's about it. I hope you get a ton of value out of this video. And if you appreciate the time that I put in to create this tutorial, please subscribe my channel and hit the like button for this video to show your support. I make videos on personal finance, investing, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle videos. If one of those topics interests you, then you should definitely subscribe my channel down below. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.